Welcome back to my animal education series. Today we'll be talking about and learning about the spotted hyena with our new friend Armstrong from the National Zoological Garden in Pretoria. So do you mind introducing yourself and tell us how long you've been with this organization? Hi, my name is Armstrong Mashakeni. I work here at the National Zoological Gardens of South Africa as a senior education officer in the Department of Education. The spotted hyena is sometimes referred to as the laughing hyena. Exactly why is that? Hyenas make a lot of vocalization and one of the sounds they make is a giggling sound which people associate with laughing. And that sound when they make it, there's nothing funny about it. You realize that they make that sound only when there's competition for food. So hyenas will giggle and shout like that because they are stressed for competition for food. In doing my research about the spotted hyena, I found that they have a very extensive range. So where all can these hyenas be found out in the wild? Hyenas are widely distributed and uh, occupy a whole lot of range, especially in Africa. Its present distribution, you get it from the sub-Saharan desert to the western side of Africa, down to Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. What kind of habitats do these hyenas typically prefer to live in? Due to their adaptation, they are occupying a whole lot of habitats. You'll find them in the semi-deserts and some deserts, also in the grassland, the open land, the woodland. You can also get uh, hyenas in the edges of the forest. Uh, because of their adaptation to feed on variety of food, they're able to adapt well in different habitats. How big can a spotted hyena get? And is there any sexual dimorphism between the two genders? The females, they usually become very big. Um, they become bigger than the males. So there is sexual dimorphism between the animals. Males are bigger than the females. But if you look at their uh, uh, genitals, it looks similar from far. But if you get very close, then you'll be able to see the differences between them. The Female genitals it look more like a penis. It's called a pseudo penis because it's not a true penis. It can... What special adaptations does a spotted hyena have to fill its niche in the ecosystem? Spotted hyenas, as predators, they actually hunt for their food and uh, they are able to make big kills and up to small animals that they can kill. But because they are also scavengers, that gives them a very good adaptation in their environments and be able to survive in different environments because they can eat any kind of food. They can eat animals that are dead, that are rotting, and they don't get sick because their stomachs are very acidic and they can be able to digest those things. Hyenas also have these powerful jaws that they use for crushing bones. So it helps them to actually have variety of food like they can eat bones, eat horns, eat hair and some of these things that they cannot be able to digest they actually regurgitate them and bring them out but in their niche they actually uh, are able to clean the environment so they fit very well in different environments where animals die because of diseases and hyenas can be able to eat that and not be affected by the disease. Do you mind explaining the differences between the brown and the striped hyena to the spotted hyena? Spotted hyenas have a, a goldish mane which have some spots on them and uh, if you look on their feet they do not have stripes like the brown and the striped hyenas. The brown hyenas have bigger mane and uh, it's just brown in color and they also have stripes on their legs. While when you look at the stripes hyena, it's got a mane that have uh, black stripes and it's whitish in color. Then you can also see on their legs that they have stripes as well. In doing my research, I found that spotted hyenas typically live in large family groups. Do you mind explaining the social structure of these hyenas? Spotted hyenas have uh, a very complex structure. Their social structure is actually dominated by females and the alpha female, which we call the matriarch, is actually the one that leads the whole group, that guides the whole group. And uh, 
in their social structure you will realize that the females actually possess the high positions in the clan and the males they will possess the lower positions in the clan but the males as well they will have the male that is higher than the others in the clan so if the alpha female have puppies or the cabs those cabs are actually ranking higher than the males that that are in the group how do these hyenas maintain and mark their territories and home ranges there's uh, multiple couples that happen within the clan and uh, if the females in the lower ranking position give birth uh, the cubs also occupy the lower rank in the clan and if the higher female give birth in the clan then the cubs also occupy that position in the clan when do these hyenas typically reach sexual maturity? The males will reach sexual maturity at the age of two and the females they will reach sexual maturity at the age of three. On average, what is the typical gestation period for a female hyena? Females will be pregnant for about 110 days and uh, give birth to about two to four cubs at a time. What kind of animals would fall prey to the spotted hyena? Spotted hyenas can eat from big animals to small animals. So they can hunt animals like buffaloes, wild dogs, velvet bears, impalas. So they can actually chase animals for a long distance because they have a high stamina. So they can chase animals until they are tired and they start biting them off to kill them. Out in the wild, do these spotted hyenas have any natural predators as they are adults? Or are they typically only falling prey to other animals when they are younger? As adults, yes, they do have enemies like lions. Lions will usually see hyenas as competitors because they see them as apex predators in the same rank. So they'll be fighting for food, so they will see them as enemies. And as babies, yes, uh, the animals like jackals will actually prey on the small babies if they are alone or left alone. Also, while doing my research, I found that African lions will typically steal from spotted hyenas and vice versa. Now, how does this interaction typically play out as to who's like the winner of the situation? Usually hyenas will win when there are many in numbers. And one lion can take up to four to six hyenas, but two lions can actually defeat 10 hyenas. So numbers will actually determine who wins. So if hyenas are big in numbers, they'll actually defeat the lions. But lions will usually defeat hyenas if they are not many in numbers. What is the current IUCN status of the spotted hyena? Their numbers are not worrying, so they have uh, a very good status in the ICUN. So it's a list concern, uh, which means that their numbers are very good, but their numbers are very good in protected areas mostly. Do these animals have any cultural significance either locally or on the continent of Africa itself? In the African continent, hyenas are perceived as evil animals. Some they see them as uh, animals that are ridden by witches when they're going to bewitch others. And uh, in South Africa, there's a belief that you can use the tail of a hyena to make people to sleep so that you can go and steal from them. Sometimes people believe that you can use the teeth of a hyena to make yourself strong and there's all different kinds of beliefs about hyenas which make them to, to be hated by people. And as seen as scavengers, most people associate them as dirty animals that are eating rotten things. And uh, that's how they are being perceived by other people as well. What actions taken by people are affecting the wild hyena populations, either positively or negatively? The uh, habitat is being reduced highly. You'll realize that there's uh, construction of uh, houses, roads, which actually 
impact on the clans. You'll also see that um, in the protected areas when the hyenas escape to the other parts they will come in conflict with humans because they start killing their livestock, the cows, the pigs, the sheep and those people in those communities they become very uh, aggressive and start poisoning the hyenas. Some what do you and your staff do to provide enrichment for these spotted hyenas? If you look in the enclosures of hyenas, you'll find that there's uh, threads that are hanging. Uh, in these threads, that's where they put the meat to make it move from side to side. That makes the hyena to actually look for their meat and actually have to jump to actually feed, uh, catch their food. So that helps them to actually exercise. Also, they put different kinds of smells in the enclosure so that the hyenas can uh, exercise their sense of smell by checking what are these smells and where are they located. Why do you feel it is important for facilities such as yourself to educate the general public on these amazing animals? Uh, these animals are usually perceived as bad animals, as uh, witchcraft, as uh, animals that eat rotten food as scavengers so it is important for people to see the important role that hyenas play in the environment why they're important why do we need them in the environment so as the national zoo we have night tours where families can come and go and see the hyenas and see uh, how they live in their enclosures and we educate them about their role in nature Thank you so much, Armstrong, for answering all of my questions. I absolutely love hyenas, along with plenty of other animals that I always say that I love on my channel. But hyenas are always one I check out at zoos. Um, just, they're really unique animals, and they're such successful hunters out in the wild, that just seeing them in a zoo uh, is super fascinating to me, and just seeing how they interact with each other uh, in their little social groups, even within a uh, captive situation. But again, thank you so much for answering all my questions. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.